Hi, how are you? Welcome to KCSE English Literature, People 101, Stock 03, the year 2022, a projected exam style question and analysis from the doll's house. Now, this time around, good students, uh, is the theme of parental and filial obligations. In the play, there is a strong emphasis throughout the play on the importance of parental and filial responsibility and of the effect that the actions of parents have upon their children. Parental Obligations Nora, Torvald, and Dr. Rank believe that a parent is obligated to be honest and morally upright. Because a parent's immorality is passed on to his or her children like a disease. For instance, Dr. Rank has a disease that is the result of his father's wickedness. Dr. Rank implies that his father's immorality, which included affairs with many women, led him to contract a venereal disease that he passed on to his son, causing Dr. Rank to suffer for his father's misdeeds. He talks about the unfairness of these, of the sins of the father, being passed on to the son. Toffold, on the other hand, talks about a parent's immorality being passed on to the children like a disease. He voices the idea that one's parents determine one's moral character, character when he tells Nora, and I quote, almost everyone who has gone to the bad alley has had a deceitful mother that is found on page 30. He speaks about Krogstad poisoning his own children with lies and immorality. He also refuses to allow Nora to interact with their children after he learns of her deceit for fear that she will corrupt them. Nora is referred to as being like her father, having inherited a lot of his qualities. It is also important to know that she never had a mother, with Anne Marie fulfilling the maternal role in her life. Anne Marie was forced to give away her own child to take on the role of Nora's maid. In contrast, Nora chooses to leave her own children at the end of the play. Filial obligation. Filial means the duties, feelings, or relationships which exist between a son or daughter and his or her parents. The play suggests that children too have an obligation to protect their parents. Nora recognized this obligation, but she ignored it, choosing to be with and sacrifice herself for her sick husband instead of her sick father. Mrs. Linde, on the other hand, abandoned her hopes of being with Crookstead and undertook years of labor in order to tend to her sick mother. Mrs. Linde has fulfilled her filial responsibility by dictating her life to care for her mother at the expense of her own personal happiness. Her mother's illness has directly affected the life that she has led and the personal decisions that she has made. Now, Ibsen does not, however, pass judgment on either woman, uh, woman's decision but uses the idea of a child's debt to her parent to demonstrate that uh, filial obligation is not one way or familial or filial obligations rather is not one way traffic it is reciprocal good students this marks the end of this particular episode is a quick reminder that if you've not uh, subscribed subscribe by uh by support by subscribing and also by giving it a thumbs up and above all sharing it with the one that you most care of and that you love and above all i wish you the very best in your endeavors good day